This is question two from paper 4-1 from the June 2020 exams from Cambridge International. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a card that'll bring you to the playlist that has all my solutions to the questions in this paper. And below the video, you'll find a link to an image of this question, so you can attempt it before looking at the solution. This question in the exam is fully written, there's no picture, and I think it's important to point out that a lot of mechanics questions really revolve around um, being able to draw them correctly, being able to set them up correctly. So in this case, I'll do it all now in front of you. So, In this case, we have a car of mass um, 1,800 kilograms towing a trailer. So I'll draw that like this, a car towing a trailer. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be artistic, you just need to draw it. They have some um, units there, so we have 1,800 kilograms and the trailer is actually 400 um, kilograms. And it's along a straight road. The trailer is connected by a light, rigid tow bar. That means this has no weight when they say it's light. The car is accelerating at um, 1.5 meters per second. If the car is accelerating, well, everything's accelerating because they're joined by a rigid tow bar. Um, and there's resistive forces um, of 200 and Let's put these in different colors, perhaps. Uh, we'll put um, the resistant, yeah, we'll put all the forces in, I don't know, red. We have resistant force. Yeah, we won't put them in different colors, the different types of force, because all forces are the same, really. Uh, this, uh, let me get these ones right. Um, this is 250 newtons going this way. There's also another force on this guy of uh, 100 newtons going this way and let's try and find some of, some of the other forces these are these, these are the friction and the air resistance that's what they are they don't need to tell us that they just tell us resistant forces this um the trailer has no engine nothing's pushing it forward it's getting pulled by this bar this bar is pulling it forward like this tension that's what they, they ask about the tension of this tow bar that's what's doing equally so there's a tension pulling the car there D these two are equal either end of that and then the engine itself the engine of the car must be pushing it forward somehow. so we're probably going to need a lot of these numbers now this just the part a this just says find the tension in this tow bar so this number these numbers are the same like i said so how do we do that oh we have one more bit of information let's use blue for the overall um yeah let's put it down here overall this thing is is traveling this way, uh, 1.5 meters per second squared. It's acceleration. So there must be some sort of force overall, because that's where we get that's where we get acceleration. F is equal to ma. This entire thing here must be traveling with some amount of force. Um, and yeah, that's how we break down this question. That's how I would do it anyway. Now, I, I guess we only need to look at each of these separately. We could look at these in its own little world. So I'm going to draw it again. Here's just the trailer. We have, I won't use different colors this time. We have a force here, T. We have 100 Newtons going this way. And an overall, I know these two add together to make an overall force of F, which equals 400 multiple. F equals 400 multiplied by 1.5. So I know there's an overall force here like this. And uh, 400 by 1.5 is 600. So I know these two forces add together to get 600 forces this way. So you could now just say T is 700. Hopefully that's clear. But just to put it in a more maths way, I would write something like this. 600, the total number, is equal to T... And then uh, I would say, I guess I would write like this, plus minus 100. Um, that feels a bit strange, that, but you're always adding all these forces together. It just happens this 100 force is a minus force. It's going left, it's a minus. Don't worry, don't. If you wrote that as just T minus 100, that's fine as well. And uh, rearrange this, comes over here, we get T is equal 700. So the, the tension on this bar must be 700 newtons. And that's just by looking at the single world of the trailer. The trailer has the, is the simplest world there to look at. Um, it's looking at only its world, we know there's a force this way. We know there has to be a force pulling the trailer. And we know overall it's traveling. Uh, it's not traveling, sorry. It's, it has an acceleration of 1.5 meters. It's probably traveling at this point. 
All right, so that is part A. I think I have room to continue this all on the board. Find the power of the engine of the car at the instance when the speed is 20 meters per second. To do this, let's break the world down into just the car now. I'll do it all the way over here. We have a car, we have some sort of force pulling it. The trailer is now pulling the car. That's why these two are equal. The trailer is pulling 700 here. Or you could say the car is pulling the trailer, but equally so, by Newton's, I can't remember which number, law, it's pulling it back the other. I really should know which number. Third, I'm guessing. But anyway, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't comment on me if I'm wrong about that one. We also have resistance of 250. And then there must be some sort of engine force there. There must be, the, the engine must be imparting some sort of force. We'll, we'll call that F for now. I've probably used F a few times, but whatever. And then we have, actually, you know, let's call it E for engine. And because we also have an overall force happening on this car. And I know, we know that again from F equals MA. Um, let's put that in a different color. This F equals MA, the overall force in this car must be, let's put it in F here. This F must be equal to the car's weight, um, to the car's mass, I should say, um, 1,800, multiplied by the acceleration of the car, 1.5. So this overall force of the system is uh, 2,700 newtons. All this must add up to 2,700 newtons. So we just write that, 2,700 must equal the engine force plus minus 250 resistance force plus minus 700 um, from the tension of the, of the toll bar. That's this, this adds together, this is minus 950, becomes a plus over this side, so we get 3,650 is equal to the force from the engine. Now, they didn't ask about force from the engine, they asked for power from the engine, because the force that actually imparts changes over time, uh, changes over uh, by the velocity in this case. But this, but we have a formula for that, I'll squeeze it in here, save me rubbing anything out. Power is equal to force times velocity. So the faster it's going, power is usually about the same for an engine, for a car engine. So um, the faster, well, yeah, let me rearrange this. It's not good for this question, but if I were to look at this a different way to explain it, F is equal to P over V. So P stays the same in most engines. Um, the faster a car goes, the more velocity, the less force. So if you think about that, the start of your car journey, you put your foot down, you get pushed back into your seat. You feel a pretty big force. But if you're going very fast already in a car and you put your foot down, you might only feel a slight, uh, a slight push back because the force is much less. Now, um, that's not important in this case. In this case, they ask for power. They want P. We know what F is. We figured it out. The engine must be pulling at 3,650. And they told us what V is. Is it in the correct units? It is meters per second. They told us this is 20. So the overall power, if I add that together, or I should say multiply it together, is 73,000. So I don't have much room, but 73,000. Well, yeah, let me squeeze it in here. Uh, 73,000, or you could write that as 73, so that's watts, 73 kilowatts. Always remember the units. Have I, I might have forgot the units in some of these questions. I'm a bit worried. Uh, down here, no, I remembered it for my final answer. Phew. Um, for your final answer, always remember your units. Either of these are full marks, by the way. You can use, they never asked, do they want them in watts or kilowatts? Uh, we would tend to use kilowatts for such a big number, though. All right, I hope that answers that question. If you have any follow up questions, point out anything I did wrong or anything you're still not sure on, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.